All right, hey you guys, it is the Foggy Swag, and I'm coming to you with my review of Dragon Ball Super episode 12 and this episode. This episode was actually, it was actually pretty good. I really liked the way they did this episode because like I said before, the movie is take well the move the show has taken a complete turn from what happened in the movie so even i don't know what's about to happen and i mean some things are similar but this fight is one of the things that changed and i like the way they did this fight this fight was actually pretty fucking awesome and Beerus and goku were going the fuck off like this part the part when they were punching and sending shockwaves i don't even i don't think that was in the movie i don't remember saying it but they were going the fudge off but the way this episode ended made me remember why i used to get so angry watching anything dragon ball related like dragon ball z dragon ball kai anything like that anything dragon ball related <laughs> i can see why i used to get mad because they always leave off like in the middle of a fight like a fight takes like 20 episodes to get through i mean in ways i understand and in ways i don't because this fight probably is only in real time, like 20 minutes, maybe. But they're stretching it out <laughs> over, like, probably going to be like 10 episodes. I really hope it's not that long, but you never know. I mean, it is Dragon Ball, so you know that fights last that long. But, like I said, I do like the way they did this. And it was pretty fucking awesome seeing how strong Goku has gotten. And the fact that he's able to match Beerus' moves is crazy. After two hits, he was able to match Beerus' power. So that way they wouldn't send shockwaves into, the, into space anymore. And Beerus looked like he was getting pissed because Goku was able to counter his moves. But will cancel out his moves not even counter he was able to cancel out his moves which is i guess it would could be a little bit pride hurting but i mean goku the super saiyan god power it looks like it is constantly increasing and this is another thing like i said that they didn't show in the movie like i like the way they did it in the show better than they did in the movie right now because the way that goku is increasing is pretty freaking awesome and i don't understand how he is like how he is gaining all of this power from nowhere like he's just pulling it out of his ass almost but just like the fact that i think my favorite part of this whole episode was when they were fighting and their auras like turned into dragons and the dragons were circling each other it was actually pretty freaking awesome i like the way they did that it reminded me of that movie i can't remember the name of the movie but the guy with the he had to fight his seven ex-girlfriends and it was the part when he was fighting the twins <laughs> and they had like the two twin dragons that came out which was actually pretty fucking awesome or even like an avatar let me stop referencing stuff but that part was pretty freaking awesome and it looked like they worked pretty hard to animate that part but just this whole fight as a whole was epic it was epicness and i'm so looking forward to seeing what happens because at first it looked like goku wasn't going to be able to use his kamehameha to counter beerus's atom bomb is what i'm going to call it because it looks like adam um wasn't going to be able to counter beerus's atom bomb so <sighs> But then, literally, he just pulled more power out of his ass, and he was able to push back the bomb, which was actually pretty awesome. Like, I, I just, I can't wait to see what happens in next week's episode, because it looks like it's going to be pretty epic. And I'm so, I'm so proud of Weiss. Weiss is fucking awesome. And it's so, I thought it was so funny. Like, I literally busted out laughing <laughs> when he showed up next to um, Vegeta and was trying to... I wouldn't say he was trying to show off, but he was trying to help Vegeta out so Vegeta wouldn't break his neck looking straight up into the sky like that. But Vegeta wasn't paying him no attention. And then he saved um, Satan. So, I mean, <laughs> just this episode was pretty fucking awesome. And I really can't wait to see next week's episode. I can't wait to see how things turn out. I have an idea of who might be on top, but I don't know, like I said, because things are changing. So... I will be happy to be thoroughly surprised to see what happens next week because it looks like they are about to go the fudge off. Whew. Excuse me. So yeah, this episode was freaking awesome and I loved it and I can't wait for next week's episode. So yeah, so as always, I would love to hear how you guys felt about this episode. How do you feel about the way things turned out? Do you think 
at this point when Bulma and everybody were in the capsule and they were following Goku they really have no re like they're not relevant right now <laughs> so I don't understand why they're trying to follow them they could have just went back down to the ship and looked at the orb with Whis but I mean I don't understand what was so important about them following them maybe somebody can tell me because I honestly don't know but it's okay though so yeah so as always uh, like I said, I would love to hear how you guys felt about this episode. How do you feel about the way things turn out? How do you think things are going to turn out in next week's episode after the smoke clears or the light clears after Goku was able to disband Beerus' attack? Does Beerus look like he's getting flustered to you guys? Because he looks like he is getting a little flustered to me or he's just freaking excited that there's actually somebody who can make him somewhat fight. So yeah. So as always, please remember to comment, thumbs up, and subscribe. It helps me a whole lot. And this is Sudaki Swag saying adios.